Hi, my name is TJ Muleman. I'm with Standard Code. We're based here in Atlanta and we're a custom dev shop. Um, we are longtime users of Mailchimp and Mandrill and we found the Mandrill conversion to be kind of a pain in the ass uh, as much as we love you guys. So I wanted to record kind of my experience. Uh, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm a dunce, but uh, I did want to <laughs> capture it and send it on and hopefully it, it's helpful to you all. Um, so I'm going to log in as uh, we have multiple clients and, and most of our clients are, are centralized under our account, but this one particular client happens to have his own Mandrill account. So I'm going to log in as this user. So while I'm logging in, let me tell you about the very first thing that I, I, I noticed um, is... So here's the thing, I just logged in with this user's, this client's um, SMTP username and password, not his actual account, right? So that's the first thing that really tripped me up. I didn't realize that, this is the, what the client gave me. And I'm logged in and I can see and do everything. I'm, I'm just as like one of the API keys. Uh, and so I looked at this, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm in that's the right account, everything's cool. I see I can connect my account, which is, you know, the. Uh, the thing I really, the step I want to go through. So I'm going to click connect my account. Again, I'm logged in as the SMTP username and password, not his like main account username and password. So that, that really threw, threw me for a loop and you'll see why here in just a second. So I'm going to click connect my account. It takes me to MailChimp. So I'm going to log in as, now I'm logging in as standard codes MailChimp, right? So I'm moving this mail, Mandrill account under standard code, which is my, my company. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. So now I'm in the, I don't really know where I'm at, to be totally honest with you. I don't really know why I came to this account verification page, but either way, I'm going to skip over to account and transactional and get started and add Mandrill. Yes, I have a Mandrill account. Yes, I've added SPF and DKIM. Click confirm. Okay, so now I'm adding, I'm logging in with the exact same username and the exact same password. Uh, that I logged in to Mandrill, right? So that's the SMTP username and password, which up until about an hour ago, I didn't realize I was doing. So I click authorize connection, and I get an error, cannot be found. So I beat my head against the wall saying, damn, I've got a space in here somewhere. Maybe I got an underscore hiding out, I don't know. Finally gave up and I tried to reach out to you via support, but because we're on the free tier, I can't, <laughs> right? So. I'm like, well, shit, I'm going to start paying y'all, but I can't reach out because you only give support to paid accounts. Totally get that. So I went to Twitter, got an answer pretty fast. Twitter folks are really good. And they told me, hey, look at this helpful article. And it became clear to me that I was actually logging in with an SMTP username and password. So the, SMT, the username is the same, which is just a little confusing, but not the craziest thing in the world. But obviously, the password is different. Okay, so now, now I can continue. So that's not obvious, right? And it, there's no error message to tell me that I'm logged in with the wrong account. But I, I, your Twitter folks were very kind and very helpful, so I got in. So I'm going to continue the linking process. So now I'm on this page, right? This is, well, edit your billing plan. So I'm on the monthly. And, and again, it, this could just be affecting me, but I come to this page and I'm, not really sure what I'm looking at exactly. I, I'm in the mandrel mode of thinking like, okay, I'm, in, I'm adding my transactional. But it took me a, a minute or two or three or 10 to figure out that this is actually talking about my MailChimp account, right? So my MailChimp account, I owe 10 bucks and I got to add payment, right? So I added my payment and then I kind of stood here and I'm like, well, what do I do now? I added my payment and I did all that kind of stuff. And, but there was no like next button. And, and this is the kind of typical error that a lot of old bastards like me run into is I didn't scroll down <laughs> to see that I have also to add this Mandrill thing, right? And, and connect Mandrill. So I kind of had a couple of issues. Uh, there's no technical problems, it all works. It, it's just the user experience is really, really rough. So SMTP username and password to get in really threw me off. Uh, about nine clicks to get to where I wanted. And then because I'm on a free MailChimp account, I have to upgrade the MailChimp first before I can add the Mandrill. And it all just kind of feels to me that like, this is all just sort of thrown on one page without a whole lot of thought to it. So 
I, I, I'm sorry to be critical. I love y'all. I just wanted to give some feedback. Uh, more than happy to pay you. We'll be paying you. Uh, we'll be giving you more money, but uh, hopefully this someone finds this helpful. So good luck. Thanks.